Hey guys, welcome to another episode of Super Indie Bros. I'm excited about this one! Great. <laughs> uh, so, a little story. I was at PAX Prime 2013 last year. The best PAX! And while I was there, I met a person named Ryan Clark who had a game called The Crypt of the Necrodancer. My name is Alex. I am Gerard. Everyone already knows who you okay. So I met Ryan Clark and I played his game at the booth and I had a blast. Uh, fast forward uh, many weeks later, we had a mutual friend who mentioned that Ryan needed uh, a DDR pad for his display at IndieCade. Yeah, and IndieCade is just down the street from, from us. Yeah, like... Yeah. So I have two DDR pads, Cobalt Fluxes, no longer in production, and I I already have a DDR machine because you guys at home helped me, gave that to me as a gift. So I, I had these two pristine DDR pads, yeah. and I said, you can take them and use them. And I hadn't heard from him for a while, and then out of the blue, he shipped us this. A limited edition. Look at this Necro thing. Dancer dance pad. This it, thing is crazy. It is so tight. I'm excited because it because I, I have played as many GDR pads in my life, and I've grown so many. Okay, so. but here's the thing. Here's the thing about Crypt of the Necro Dancer. It's not a rhythm, it's not like a dancing game. I mean, it is a dancing game, but it's like a dungeon crawling RPG game. So you're gonna see how I do right now. We're gonna have a feet cam, dude. Feet cam. Beard Bros first. Feet cam. Hashtag Beard Bros first. <laughs> hashtag feet cam. If you're at this moment, point in the video, hashtag. use hashtag feet cam and hashtag Beard Bros first. So we know they've at least seen. Yeah. Watch. Welcome to the Necro Dancer game. Alex, take it away. All right, so this game is a 2D top-down dungeon crawler with a soundtrack by Super Meat Boy's own Danny Baranowski. And uh, basically, you just jump to the beat. And the main, her the main hero's name is Cadence, and she's kind of like going to give you voice clues as to what to do. But how does it feel? I like it, but it's very hard to record this and talk at the same time <laughs> because you're like, because you're like, imp compelled to talk on the beat. Yes, I am. I'm very much am in order to keep up what I'm doing. <laughs> Damn it. So uh, we were talking about Ryan Clark earlier, and uh, he was playing Spelunky, and he like was inspired in the sense that he saw Spelunky as a game where it's really tough to play the game but you can get really good at it and uh, like whenever you die you know it's your fault and you know as opposed to just feeling like it's unfair like like it like it's unfairly hard and so you know a dance game is a perfect like you know example of a game that's always your fault when you lose Okay, next level level one so that's the idea behind this game and, uh, so it's on early access right now, and we're fooling around with it, and it's freaking awesome. So it looks like you can get, so it looks like you have an item and a weapon at all times, and you can kind of, like, upgrade as you go, hot swap. I like the combat system. Oh, and you have a special attack, so that, that's like kind of like rhythmic based, like to kind of like makes you do a special move. That is, this is awesome. This is like really awesome. Also, uh, I don't think we're gonna try it out here just because it's probably gonna be nonsense. But this game has like a thing where you can sub oh in your own. Oh my god! This game has a feature where you can sub in your own MP3s, which is like very cool. So is it? So this is just a situation where, like, you're just kind of, like, exploring openly? Yeah. Wow. That's really neat. Are you, like, really tired? Kind of. I think just const- I think the fact of, like, mentally for me, because I'm, like, such a rhythm gamer. Yeah. It's one thing to play this game and just for fun, but it's another to- Well, it's interesting to think that the game is turn-based, because it is turn-based. 
It's just you gotta think about it as if the turns are a beat. You know what I mean? Yeah. So like turns only last like one beat, which is like really neat. So you have to act like properly each time. So you have to make a lot of decisions really fast, which is like not how Dance Dance Revolution is because you know exactly what you're supposed to be doing in Dance Dance Revolution. But this is a situation where you gotta like figure it out yourself and like figure out like how you're gonna dance, which is like really cool. Um, it's very hard to focus, but I think I got it. Yeah, I hear that. Um, so like, yeah, like, so all the enemy behavior is like all based on the rhythm because it's turn-based. So you can kind of like plan like the skeletons only like they put their arms up when they're about to jump so you can like plot where they're gonna go. So there's like special items. I like don't want- I want the broadsword, I don't want the blood dagger. At least I feel like that's what I should all be the, doing. Uh, all the items are all randomized. Uh, which is really cool. Even the ones sold and the ones dropped. Which is really cool, and they all have like special properties. <sighs> and I guess the, the game has like... Four zones that are all kind of connected to each other, and each level has its own mini-boss, which is kind of cool. And then, like, there's four big bosses at the end of each zone. Yeah. Uh, so then, like, whenever you beat a zone, you can, like, go back to it, but, like, none of the stuff that you got gets saved. So, like, you kind of just, like, it's kind of like Spelunky in that sense. Oh! Oh. The song ended to one of the next level. Oh, wow, okay. So that's another situation. I should have gone the stairs then when I found him. Also, you'll like this, Gerard. The game has a hardcore mode. Where you can't die- where, you, where you're not allowed to die. Yeah, I'm gonna die. Did I mention that you can put in your own song? Yeah, you did. That is the coolest thing. I can't wait for people to like make their own like mute like Oh shit, Music what is that? videos. Oh. Oh. All right. Well, that was my first death. Killed killed by a ghost. Killed by ghost. Turn to the lobby. Ooh, I'm in a lobby now. I lost all my money it looks like. I got so, two yeah. diamonds so, though. So see, you got So you got zone 1. And then you can change your character. Ooh, who's the bard? Characters are still a work in progress. The placeholder art unlock Aria and Bolt by completing hardcore mode. The rest is still in development. So what's Bard? I don't know. Try him. No beats. Move at any time. Oh no 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 no. Enemies move after you do. Oh, no. it's like a the like turn based version. That's so crazy. Ah, uh, we'll stick with the way it's meant to be played. Wow, that's such a neat game system. That's really, really smart. No wonder Jonathan Holmes likes this game so much. Ooh, I'm getting, <laughs> I'm getting warm. Getting heated? Let's do one more run. One more run. Or maybe, let's go to this door that says new. Hephaestus, what Ooh. is it? Upgrades. Oh, it's like, yeah, you can like buy upgrades. Cool. All right. Um... Also, Chainmail, uh, baby! If you nerds care, this game was developed in Monkey X. Which is a programming language. It's Dungeon Master. Oh! More things. Well, I don't have any more diamonds, but... Which is basically basic. It's basic. Need a key for that. Alright, I guess we're going back to Zone 1. Let's do it. Let's Here do we go. it. Win. Win this time, bro. Dude, that is brutality. So the green ones don't move, but the blue ones move. Oh, those little squares are naughty. Yeah, they force you to jump. They could get you. Dude, there's a lot to worry about in this game. This game is intimidating. God, it looks like it's it's probably so fun to be like super good at this game though. It probably feels awesome. Also, shout out to the soundtrack. Danny Baranowski, please come be on Super Remix Bros. <laughs> I will do that any single day of the week. Dude, get him on here. Come on, come on, you Necro Dancer devs. <laughs> Hook us up. Oh my god. I wonder what all the other items are. I have so many questions. What happens if you put a bomb down? Does it blow up a lot like Bomberman? Well, I can try if you want. You only have one bomb though. Maybe use it on some enemies. What's this? Oh, and door. Oh, okay. So, 
I don't know if you guys can see on the foot cam. <laughs> Anyone play Final Fantasy VI? <laughs> oh, 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 Maria. So, Gerard has a bit of a history with Dance Dance Revolution, and as you can see, he does some pretty, pl uh, some pretty pro foot switches. I wonder what the boss fights are like, man. I wonder if they're more like Dance Dance Revolution. I, I, I'm, I got a lot of questions about this game. I'm also excited that this game makes you exercise. When played the way it was meant to be played, that is. The other way, it just feels like Tap Tance, Tap Tap Revolution. Or what was the... Was that the name of the game? That was like the Flash game from forever ago that was like the greatest... Wait. Flash that's... Flash Revolution. The Newgrounds one? See you in the lobby, thank you? Who's that? I don't know, it's the guy I unlocked. He's, you think he's a character? What's the Golden Dagger? What does that do? I don't know. But I want the Broadsword because the Broadsword is huge. It hits three in a row. But I haven't seen the Golden Dagger before, what if it shoots lightning out? God, this is tight. I haven't quite figured out the attack patterns and how they work. That's something I'm still trying to figure out. They move only on the beats. Right, but... Alright. Oh, oh god! Oh. The ghost got me again. You gotta attack that dude. All right. I can't. I can't. Oh, he just can't be touched. He, yeah, I think. He, I think. Maybe I you need have a specific to keep running until I get rid of him. Oh, I see. All right. Well, <sighs> man. we've only been recording for a little bit. You want to try? You want to go one more? I'll do one more. All right. I'm get. I'm finally getting into it. Okay, let's do it. This is the one. This is the run. Quick restart. Oh. Well, now we got that guy in the lobby. Okay, so go to that door to the left. Beastmaster. I'll let you train against an enemy! Oh, so you can train against the... Defeat enemy in the crypt to unlock them near. Alright. Oh, right. well, you haven't killed a ghost yet, so you can't... So you can just go beat him up. <laughs> That's pretty cool. I like that. It reminds me of, uh... Yeah, it reminds me of Mother 3. The, uh, whatever that guidebook thing is called that lets you fight all the enemies to test out their, uh, heartbeats. Actually, what if Mother 3 was played with a DDR pad? Get on that tomato. Yeah. Alright, uh, it's two to it. Well, we got new up here. What's new up here? Alright. Permanent I upgrades. I sell permanent upgrades. Oh, get the heart. Well, thank you very much, yeah. then. One and a half, like, 50% more gold. Hell yeah. Dang, this is tight. This is tight. Okay, go, go, go. Let's do it. All right. Man, this really feels... By the way, I didn't talk about the pad that much. It's great. Feels really good? Yeah, see, why am I getting hit? Dude, That's you're getting wanted... rocked. Because they're jumping into you. Is that what it is? Yeah. They're just jumping into me? Yeah, they get to take a turn every beat, too. So they're just each bumping into you. All right. You gotta be more aggressive. Also get that diamond. Ooh. Jeez, that was scary. I'm just... I'm losing my coordination. Crazy. Oh! I like don't know exactly what the enemies do, so it's like scary for me because I, I feel like you're about to get hit like every time anything happens. Wow, that broadsword is a really safe weapon. That's why I keep that's why I keep that's why I keep wanting to use it. Getting a little exhausty? Yeah. Oh, oh running away! Later, man! Later, man. Wow, that dragon messed me up. 
All right. Woo. Well, there you have you it, try folks. Alex. Yeah, let me try it once. All right, let's do it with Alex. Doing the switch. Switch it up. Switch it up. Let's see a quick restart. Wow. Okay. This is. I'm terrible at this. <laughs> okay. You got this, dude. Pretty simple stuff. So the dance pad is probably one of the more stable dance pads I've played. I have been through dozens me. and dozens of dance pads in my time. There you go, you got it. Oh, the, the dude's nearby if you want to upgrade. Whoa! I got you, I got you, you're okay. Um, yeah, the dan this dance pad's very functional. Um, this, is, this dance pad, as far as I can tell, is made by <laughs> no, pre <I> <laughs> Precision. <laughs> You activated the bomb? Yeah! Alright, okay. Do it again, do it again. Alright, alright, right. Up and down together at the same time. And then, uh... Uh... Hit enter on the key... Uh... Enter the, on the... Enter, there you go. Uh, yeah, this is one of the more functional dance pads. I'm very impressed. It feels very good for what it is. There are tons of companies in the uh, early 2000s who were trying to make a quick buck off the DDR craze. Whoa! And, uh... With that... Uh... Ooh, kill him! Go! Yes! Ooh, another bomb! There you go. Got it back. And, uh... Cobalt Flux was one of the only, uh, real companies that I ever trusted in all of my years of playing Dance Dance Revolution. Um, they went out of business a few years ago, but, uh... For their, uh, advertising videos, they would ever oh, oh, run, run! Oh, there you go. Broadsword. Um... For, uh, Cobalt Flux, what they would do is they'd advertise that the F-150 Ford uh, truck could run over their product, and it would still work. Go on that stairs. Or kill the golden bat. The, kill the gold bat. You know him. There you go. Yeah! Stairs unlocked. There you go. Go into it. What is this? Oh, what did I do? You legitimately went to level two. There you go. Oh, go left? Up there. Yeah. Ooh, diamond. Yeah. So yeah, the DDR and DDR has kind of come and gone, right? Like there's not what? really uh, a solid uh, DDR game, or let alone pump it up game in, in recent years that people really are playing anymore. AKA Crypt of the Necro Dancer. So the fact that Crypt of the Necro Dancer exists is, an, is kind of an anomaly, and not only that, but it's a good one at that. What uh, do I do about this ghost? Oh, run away from the ghost! Do not touch the ghost! I think it, I think the ghost is meant as like a oh, never mind. You just kill it. You just killed it. I can just kill ghosts? Go in there, go in there. Oh, what's the big shoe? Get the big shoe, that looks no, great. No, what if I get this? Titanium shovel! Because then what if... Oh, 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 oh. So yeah, it's pretty, I'm, I am for one, oh, there you go, you can break the rocks with the little stones in them now. Oh. Yeah, down, there you go. So I'm very happy that this game exists. Uh, Ryan Clark, thank you for bringing attention to Real rhythm talk. games again. This is just this is a great way to combine it. I know that when I was at PAX Prime, this was the game that a lot of people were playing in the indie booth section. Uh, I remember when I played it, I had a great time, but I was stressed out because there was a big line of people behind me. So now oh, that it's that? out, <laughs> oh, he slipped on the trap, my friend. Well, I didn't know there were even traps. That's so all right. Well, I think we, we played enough, guys. Yeah. Uh, Crypt. Of the Necrodancer comes out on early access on Wednesday, Get it. which may be today or tomorrow, depending on when this goes live. Get it, but, watch um, it, love it's, it. It's great, and th again, a huge thank you to Ryan Clark and the rest of the Necrodancer teams. I had a lot teams. of fun just now. That was this tight. is great. This is great. All, All right, right, guys. Later, Later man. man. Bye.